Hello everyone, this is going to be the third episode of me picking a random Pokemon and reviewing all the cards that they ever have had. Let's just hit it, and then we'll go to the cards. Oops, I still have six generated. Oop, let's just go with the one. <laughs> okay, I guess we're doing Knackley for today. Well, at least we have something to talk about. Knackley has a couple of cards, including some more interesting ones. So let's just go with this first one from Paul. They evolved. Uh, this one is by you who is a pretty recent artist, I'm pretty sure. Their first card was, yeah, Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery, so pretty recent artist. Um, this card is actually quite nice. I like how the sh the shadows uh, reflect off of the Pokemon with the kind of like li like circle-y background. I don't know how to explain that, but it's, it's quite cool with the rocks and then the rocks in the foreground have some nice detail. It's a nice um, Nackley card. It represents the Pokemon perfectly fine. And then this one, Shin Nagasawa. Uh, Shin is well known for like kind of realistic cards, um, from what I understand. I mean, yeah, and they've been working on um, the Pokemon TCG all the way since Supreme Victors, so they have a long history with the Pokemon TCG. So it's cool that um, Nackley, one of their debut cards, was one from an artist who actually like has been doing Pokemon cards for a long time. I like the the detail on the card. Looks pretty realistic with those um nice rocky kind of like mesa -y cliffs in the back. And Nackley also got an art rare in Paul Day Evolved. This one's by Ryota Muriyama, who I think is also a more recent artist. Um I think something that you'll notice about his card of Nackley is that yeah, Flash Fire, X and Y. Um about his card is that it's kind of like the background is pretty detailed, but the foreground is not super detailed, which is something that I kind of appreciate. Like there's enough detail in there for you to really respect all the all the details that they put in, but not like enough detail to where it's kind of overwhelming and too realistic. It's like the perfect middle ground between the two, and it's cool that Nackley got an art rare. Uh, makes it better for this review's sake. Uh, this Nackley's by Muzue, and you can just kind of tell like whenever they switch up the style, even a Pokemon as uninteresting as Nackley is. Sorry to all the Nackley fans. I, I like Garganackle, but I'm just saying Nackley's kind of an uninteresting Pokemon. Uh, Mizue has been working on, or Miz, yeah, Mizue has been working on the Pokemon TCG since all the way back in the Diamond and Pearl era, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, so yeah, this this card is really nice. It's very cartoony, very cute. I like all the little details. They kind of look like um like an army pattern, almost like a what's it called, like camouflage, but like that kind of camouflage uh, rough pattern. Then Nackley also got another card in Par Paradox Earth. This one's by Penny Kobayashi. Uh, I like how it's like following like a tectonic line or something like that with like that deep, rich blue sky in the background. It's got some yellow in there, some darker blue, some white, and then you've got some lighter blue as well. Um, and then all the shading on the Pokemon, it's like very liney. Like it has like a lot of lines that go into it. Um very detailed but not like like i said it's not overly detailed it's like it doesn't feel like it's too detailed but at the same time the, there's a lot of work that went into the card like as you can clearly tell um penny is a newest a newer newer artist cosmic eclipse um so they are working on a lot of really nice cards like this one the dark Rye v star from crown zenith um and yeah they're good artists overall um and I'm glad that they gave Nackley a card. And then Paul Day and Face, this is our last one. Um, you Nishida. Nishida is an artist who's been working since the Sun and Moon era. They were actually a winner of the uh, Artist Illustration Contest, uh, which is really cool. Um, and they've been working on Pokemon DCG ever since, so we've never, we've never really looked back. And they even illustrated one of the World's promos for um, 2023, which is a really cute card. Um, their style really shines through with a lot of their other cards, but the baby shinies, it's kind of hard to tell the style. Um, but you can tell it's very like cartoony, it's very cute, and it captures the Pokemon really well, and it shows off the shiny really, really well. So, happy to see that you should have worked on this Nackley card. And yeah, I think that was about it for Nackley. Not really the most amount of cards for a Pokemon ever. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards, one illustration rare, one baby shiny. I would say that that's enough, honestly. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And just tell me what your favorite Pokemon is, so maybe I could just do a single video on that Pokemon. Uh, yeah, but if you enjoyed, I hope you did. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.